Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick Zara hand soap haul. I bought three different hand soaps from Zara. They have so many different offerings online that I thought it would be fun to do a different kind of Zara haul. I know a lot of Zara hauls are about clothing on the internet, but this one is about their hand soap in particular. Uh, so I just want to jump in that Zara has a ton of home fragrance and hand wash, body wash. They have perfumes. They have so many different offerings in the scent world. Um, it's kind of overwhelming actually. And they have different vessels. Some are more expensive. Some are good value. Some don't seem to be good value. But um, what I wish was the case and I don't know if it's just the store near me but none of this stuff is available in person. At, I went to the Zara store I don't know if it's because of COVID that they don't want to put any of this stuff out to try and they don't want people touching the stuff um, because they had no makeup no perfume nothing it was only clothing and accessories and that is it. So none of this I was able to go and smell in person. So I just kind of had to blind buy based on the name of the soap and the notes that it had in it. So very interesting. I don't know how people buy perfume from this brand because I don't know that they give out samples. Like I've seen tons of people buy perfumes and candles. Um, I, I eventually want to do some candle haul from this brand because I'm curious. I heard some good things. Um, but anyways, I, I needed some hand soaps anyway um, at my boyfriend's place. So I thought I would pick some up and they are all very different. So let's start with the hand and body wash, the Royal Garden. This just says Zara Home. It has this very pretty beautiful label it's actually kind of textured this guy was about ten dollars nine dollars and ninety cents this guy is 480 mils 16 point fluid ounces so a good amount of product comes with a nice pump so a big plus for me royal garden i thought it would be a little bit greener and i think this one is actually more on the floral side unfortunately when i looked at these soaps the description didn't have tons of information on the notes, so sometimes this was just a guess. But this smells basically of just flowers. So think of a garden full of flowers, even though the label doesn't really show that much of floral going on. It smells beautiful though. It actually smells expensive, but very much simple floral smell but almost like a garden full of roses. Um, so Royal Garden is a garden full of roses, nothing really green about it. So a little bit disappointed with that one, but still really nice, but almost like a pure rose scent. This next one is kind of tricky because it looks a lot bigger, but it's only 20 mils bigger. This is 500 mils. 6.9 fluid ounces and this is a bit simpler packaging a little bit more I don't know unisex masculine um, minimal what's the word industrial this is Zara home black vanilla liquid hand wash so this one doesn't say uh, it's meant for the body but I'm sure you could use it that way uh, but this is just basic, kind of a gray, see-through-ish packaging. This one was a little bit more money, surprisingly, even though it is only a little bit more product. This is $12.90 versus $9.90. I know this one looks a lot bigger, but it's not really. I will say this is probably more of a universal scent. I know roses can be polarizing, but vanilla, I think, is a much more a tolerated smell. Let's give this guy a whiff. Not as like deliciously vanilla as I thought it would be, which I'm actually okay with. I don't like the kind of vanillas that smell like baked goods. I'm not into that. It has like a very slight sweetness to it. It's not like overly dramatic vanilla or 
complex vanilla. Um, I would say this scent overall, it says black vanilla. I'm not sure what the black is. Kind of a soapy vanilla, if that makes sense, or clean vanilla. It's not very strong though. Like the roses one was much more pungent. So just kind of first impressions, not using this really much except smelling it. I would say like this kind of has a slight clean candy vibe. It's it's a vanilla I've smelled before, but I don't really love this one. Yeah, I would say the vanilla on this one is not great and definitely not worth the, uh, what, three more dollars. I would prefer the garden, the rose garden over black vanilla. I mean, I'll definitely get some use out of it, um, but I think you could probably find much cheaper scents that you prefer over this one at a Dollar Tree. <laughs> Nothing against Dollar Tree, they have some great hand soaps, but this one, the scent really falls flat. I will say though, the texture of soaps from Dollar Tree is probably the worst part about them. They're just they're not great. I feel like Dollar Tree soaps, the soap is so thin and like, you have to use like a lot of soap to get things to remove, to get it to remove like dirt. So the texture of this is definitely better than that, but the smell is not. It is not the bee's knees. Moving on to our smallest bottle here and the same price as Royal Garden. So this is $9.90 for 250 mils, 8.45 ounces. So about half of this guy. And this is also Zara Home Hand and Body Wash. So another one you can use wherever. This is Patchouli 1972. I don't see a lot of mainstream hand soaps with patchouli as the main note. So this got me excited because it was different. Um, also, I love the simple black packaging of it. I thought it looked really sleek. Um, but it this is on the pricey side for how much soap you get. So let's get into smelling it. Love all the pump on all of these for sure. Trying not to get soap on me. So I think if you were to buy this from like a real perfume house, the soap would be a lot stronger, a lot more concentrated. But remember we spent $9 <laughs> or $10 on this. So definitely get a, a really nice, wonderful patchouli smell from it. And I don't know that I'm getting much else from this. So it's not overly complex. It's a clean patchouli. I think this is nice. If you love patchouli, I'm sure you'll get some enjoyment out of this. You might be disappointed in how weak it is, but it's a really nice incense vibe. I really, I dig this one. I like that it's different. It's, it's, it's soap with an edge. Mm, oh yeah, definitely like an incense, hippy dippy, but not overly so. It's not gonna overwhelm your bathroom if you wash your hands. So it's nice, it's light, it's got that patchouli vibe to it. I, I think this is a really nice one. Um, could it be stronger? Yes. Uh, do I wish it was double the size? Yes. Um, but I like that it's different. It's a different note, it's a different scent. It's not your typical everyday hand soap. So I, I think I enjoy that one. I think surprisingly, yeah, this is definitely the strongest of the three, the Royal Garden. Maybe it's because roses are so easy to be pungent versus patchouli. Maybe it's a little bit not as out there, but I still really enjoy it. I think both men and women love patchouli. It's one of those unisex scents. Vanilla, largest one most disappointing um i don't know if they watered it down but it definitely could be stronger but also just a better note a better quality vanilla uh it's missing a lot of complexity <laughs> so my ranking in terms of like best value best scent this guy patchouli and this one would be in last place 
So there are a lot of other hand washes and scents on Zara's website. If you guys want me to try anything that you guys see, let me know on the comments below what I should review. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.